thank everyone for coming today. My name is Frank Scheid. I'm with the Native American Symposium Committee. And I'm particularly uh, honored to be able to get to a special guest, Dr. Richard Connection. Uh, have made this uh, particular walk, as uh, Gloria Young said, uh, since uh, 2007. Uh, Indigenous Peoples Day was first recognized on this campus thanks to uh, Dr. Dick Bennett, the founder of, Nom of Omni. Uh, in 2004, he suggested that our campus needed to recognize this day, and we have been recognizing it ever since. And uh, many thanks to uh, Dr. Bennett for suggesting we do this before a lot of the country did. So uh, we're, we're very pleased to uh, have uh, Omni and, and Dr. Bennett uh, working with us. We made this walk to commemorate the Trail of Tears to recognize that the history of the exploitation and the mistreatment of indigenous people has touched Fayetteville. On this particular spot, as Dr. Gloria Young will be saying, a group of a thousand Cherokees camped on the Trail of Tears. The Trail of Tears was a result of a governmental policy originally started by President Thomas Jefferson saying that sovereign countries should not exist within the borders of the United States. And uh, that particular perspective was used to forcibly remove the tribes from the southeast. And uh, in the 1830s, this was finalized, and these tribes were sent over the Trail of Tears. And one of the roots of the Trail of Tears is right behind you. So this is part of our particular heritage. And as Dr. Manchu is witness, the mistreatment, exploitation of indigenous people continues today. It's a matter that we all must be concerned with and try to set right. At this point, Dr. Gloria Young will say a little bit about the group that camped on this particular spot when they were taking the Trail of Tears to Indian Territory, which is now the state of Oklahoma.
They asked that they be allowed to remove themselves. The U.S. government just gave the money to George Ross and he allocated it out to the different the tax given six dollars and sixty-six dollars and twenty-four cents per person to make this trip of uh, 768 miles and uh, we think they figured it would take 80 days. The binge group actually were one of the fastest groups and it took them, let's see, 106 days. So they really didn't have quite enough money but they they, they made it, they bought uh, supplies along the way, they bought water, water and grain for their horses, and according to the records that we have of the money dispersed to suppliers along the trail, the thing the Cherokees bought most was soap. They wanted soap. Anyway, this detachment was, the detachments were sometimes whole communities, sometimes huge families. This one was divided by uh, religious denominations, this particular group that camped right here were Methodists. And we think that they, they took the route they took across northern Arkansas, the only group to do that, because we think they were following the routes of the itinerant Methodist preachers. We know that the first person to meet them when they crossed into Arkansas, uh, just west of Pocahontas, was a Methodist minister. And so we assume that they were met by Methodist ministers and congregations, hopefully, in most of the towns that they went through or, or bypassed uh, at a close distance. <coughs> we'll hope that happened. Uh, there were 1,200 men, women, and children on the original roads when they departed from Fort Payne, Kentucky, on uh, beginning on September the 28th, 1838. They were joined by other people before they got across the Tennessee River, so that there were some Creeks, there was at least one Choctaw family, and some other people who joined them as, as they went along. There were 114 slaves, uh, African American slaves. These were not poor people, these were rich people. At least they were well-to-do Cherokees. Uh, they did have covered wagons and horses, no one had to walk unless they wanted to, and um, so they and they had plenty of tents. They made sure they had plenty of tents. They they would have gone along in a long line. I mean, you can't walk a thousand people together down a down a trail or a small road. So they would have come in a long line and set up their camps. There's a creek that's now been almost filled in. It's got up, you know, right down here, and so they set up all the way up this hill possibly up to the, as far as, I don't know how far up this hill, but that's where they camped on the night of, uh, I believe it's January, January the uh, 11th, 1839. They had come about 650 miles, and they lacked about 100 miles. Uh, by the time they signed out, enough you know, people had joined them that there were 100, 1,132 people the depot they reported to was at Stillwell, this is Weber's farm. There were 33 deaths on this, in this group, uh, mostly from disease, although we do know one man was killed on the Fayetteville Square in an altercation, and there were six births. So, uh, we are commemorating this because uh, it's not just a part of Cherokee history, it's a part of American history, and it's part of Fayetteville history. Well, we've been doing this walk for seven years, hoping that this little spot to commemorate this trail of tears group that came through doesn't get totally obliterated by the University of the City. So maybe if we just continue to walk here every year, we'll continue to uh, have it as a, as a memorial. There were more signs here. They are not here anymore. There's a sort of a road of stones that you can see. That, that symbolizes the trail as it went along. It probably actually followed the old board itself. So anyway, that's why we're here today. And thank you all for um, coming. It's now my pleasure to introduce the uh, Honorable Lionel Jordan, the mayor of Good morning, 
there she locked my man. What a great day in our city. It's good to see you already. Uh, it's, a, it's a great honor and a privilege because I have a special presentation I want to do today before we, I read the proclamation. Association, City of Federal, Latin American and Latino Studies, the Center for Multicultural and Diversity Education, and the Omni Center for Peace, Justice and Ecology. The Royal Indigenous Peoples Day began in 2004 when Dr. Dick Bennett, let's give Dick a big round of applause. <laughs> Founder of the Omni Center for Peace, Justice, Ecology, and Federal recommended that the University of Arkansas host an observance and recognition of Indigenous Peoples Day, and whereas each year we meet at the Trail of Tears Memorial Marker in Federal to commemorate Indigenous Peoples and remember the Trail of Tears, which was the result of federal legislation declaring that no foreign government, which included American Indian tribes, to be physically located within the borders of the United States of America, and any tribe that failed to disband or move of its own accord to the specially designated Indian Territory of present-day Oklahoma was forcibly removed by federal forces. And whereas thousands of people died during this thousand-mile journey over the Trail of Tears, a collective reference to the many paths used by the Cherokee, Choctaw, Creek, Chickasaw and Seminole Nations when they were forced west and the forced removal of American Indians over the Trail of Tears is one of America's greatest tragedies. And whereas John Finch led 1,100 Cherokees from their homelands in Georgia, Alabama, and Tennessee through the frontier village of Federal, Arkansas to Indian Territory, as part of the forced removal of nearly 13,000 Cherokees ordered by President Andrew Jackson and the United States Congress. And this group of weary homeless Cherokees camped on the hillside north and east of, his, of this historic federal marker, securing supplies and repairing wagons before heading west to Cane Hill the next day and on to Indian Territory, arriving there in January 17, 1839. Now, therefore, I, Lionel Jordan, mayor of the city of Federal, Arkansas, do hereby proclaim October the 13th, 2015, as Indigenous People of the America's Day in Federal, Arkansas. I want to ask you one 
quick question. Don't you just love this city?
from our ancestors. También es sentirnos parte de la tierra. Es un mensaje de nuestros ancestros. And feel that we are part of the earth is also a message from our ancestors. Y ninguna cultura muere. In no, in no culture that does it die. Ellos no están muertos. Our ancestors are not dead. Todo lo que nuestros ancestros dejaron dicho, dejaron escrito, está en la vida de cada persona en este planeta. Everything that our ancestors have done, have said, is within all of us in this planet. Así que, qué lindo que tienen un parque. How beautiful that we have a park. Y yo estoy de acuerdo que aquí siempre sea igual como esto y te ayuda a venir aquí los estudiantes, los jóvenes, los profesores. And she, is, she agrees that we should come every year and that this should be something that all of the students, professors, and everyone should come and participate. Y yo dejo también un pedazo de mi energía aquí. And she also left a part of her energy here. Gracias. 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 Gracias.